Hi guys, I'm here with Fabio and we're talking about the upcoming Ciari Open Day and the kind of things you're going to see there. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about Fabio's talk. Tell us a bit about what you're talking about, Fabio. Yep, so I'm going to talk about um, the uh, pretty much the nexus between AI and mixed reality and how they combine in a whole bunch of applications such as games and intelligent user interfaces, the metaverse, uh -huh. um, and all this kind of really cool, interesting stuff. Cool. And what do you think of um, some of the work we've been doing in simulation? And what does it actually do, our simulation work? Yeah, so we've been doing a lot of work in simulation and uh, more recently in a fairly large project um, with the Defence Prime, uh, Rheinmetall Defence Australia. So we've been working in uh, generating synthetic data uh, yeah. to actually train autonomous vehicles uh, via a fully virtual pipeline. So pretty much using game technology, game engines uh, so-called, uh, to, to generate fully virtual environments that then can replace the real uh, world data, um, you know, leading to savings uh, in training time and uh, simplicity and, and, and I so hear on. you can turn the weather, the, the, the day mm. into night and all yeah. kinds of things. Yeah, that's right. So that was one uh, piece of work. So essentially generating data through uh, 3D engines. And then we had deep learning technologies uh, called GANs, uh, generative adversarial, adversarial networks that um, essentially helped us turn the image output out of the game engines into something else, right? So this is what simulation is all about. Uh, so we could actually turn, I don't know, the virtual um, environment that looked like summer into a winter realization. And so that, that uh, actually led to multiplying the amount of data that we could generate uh, by uh, just sitting on your machine and, you know. So amazing uh, for autonomous vehicles, for example, that yeah. you might be developing. That's right. And so the, the whole idea there was that uh, we, we would actually, um, you know, capturing data uh, for, uh, uh, you know, uh, any sort of real world application means spending months and months of work because you've got to capture the data using drones or uh, you know autonomous cars themselves and so on uh, and then uh, real humans have to undertake this data um, and they need to provide good and bad examples to uh, the autonomous vehicles um, so all this is very uh, prone to errors um, amount of time and money ultimately um, so if we can actually generate synthetic data to complement that uh, then that leads to saving in time and money and you know efficiencies in the system. Fabo, well I can't wait. What, what else do you think is going to be a bit of a highlight at the open day? So we, we're going to have uh, stuff from the uh, AI discipline at RMIT, which I lead, um, the Associate Dean of AI. Um, so stuff from the discipline are going to talk about all manner of different areas of research that we engage in. So that's going to be full gamut of AI. So you know. Um, automated planning and uh, games, augmented reality, robotics and uh, machine learning, obviously, and computer vision. So, you know, come along and uh, we, we got a wide gamut of talks that, um, you know, uh, should definitely um, hook you up, uh, whatever uh, your specific interest is in AI. I think we're also really excited because we've got some fantastic sponsors as well from Live Person, Dell, um, Xenon and Nvidia who are going to be talking about um, the Omniverse, and we've got GigXR as well doing some mixed reality holographic experiences where you can experience anatomy. So see you then, it's not too late to register and um, you'll be here in this beautiful hall, story hall. Ciao. See you next week.